Okay, guys, this is the final day that we're going to meet before we um, I set you guys out on your own and we come back on the 24th. Today, we're actually going to talk about the types of food that you should eat and portion sizes that you should eat. Um, the first thing we're, I am going to um, send you guys home with, it's a food pyramid. I just got this off the, it's just off the internet. Um, it starts at the top with sweets. Um, you shouldn't eat sweets at all. Sugar-free only. You guys already know that, but I just have to let you guys know that. Um, dairy is zero to two servings. And we'll go over what servings is, okay? Um, eggs, zero to one servings a day. Vegetable oils, that includes anything you cook with, butter, anything like that. Zero to two servings. Um, so, zero means you can be okay without them, You but you don't want to go over two. So, zero to two. Um, one to two servings of nuts or seeds. Uh, three to four servings of fruits. Um, and that would be, I suggest a fresh fruit out of the produce no canned fruit no canned fruits they put them in syrup and sugar and stuff like that and it's not good for you um you can get those if you would like and you can rinse them off uh, don't take them straight out of the can rinse them off and then you can eat them uh vegetables six to nine servings a lot of vegetables um those you can either way i mean fresh is always better but frozen's good, canned's good. You need to watch the salt intake on them. Uh, they do have low sodium ones or no salt ones you can. Or like I said, you can just rinse them. Um, but eat lots and lots of vegetables. Um, five to 12 servings of whole grains. That's breads, rice, pasta. That's a large amount, so you have to be very careful about what you're eating. But they do have the, um, the whole grains, and that's the thing. Not just, like not white bread. You need wheat bread. Um, they have brown rice, uh, wheat pasta, things like that. Um, be, just be careful not to, to eat too many. Uh, and then legumes and soy, that's, that's like, um, excuse me, <coughs> beans, uh, one to three servings of those. So that's peas, you know, pinto beans, anything like that. Um, also on the bottom, it just gives other lifestyle recommendations, daily exercise, uh, lots of water, eight, eight ounce glasses a day is best. And the, and just spread that out through the day. And then um, it just suggests sunlight to get sunlight. You guys will get to take that home with you. Now this other handout we're gonna give you is um, about common household items that you can compare for portion size um, so that you don't have to worry about what three ounces is or what a medium apple is and an ounce and things like that. So uh, the suggestions, they've given seven suggestions here. Three ounces of, of meat is equal to a deck of playing cards or, or an audio tape cassette. So if you just think about the length and the width and the thickness of a deck of cards, if you have a piece of meat roughly that size, it's about three ounces. Um, a medium apple or a peach is about the size of a tennis ball. So if you've got these, this huge apple and it's definitely bigger than a tennis ball, then that's probably two servings of fruit instead of just one. So take that into account. Um, an ounce of cheese is about the size of four stacked dice. So if you have something that's, that's solid like that, just four, four cubes is about an ounce. And that's easy to remember. Um, ice cream or or anything like that, a half a cup is about a tennis ball. So anything that's like yogurt or anything that's, you know, pudding, anything that's kind of half semi-solid, it's about a half a cup is a tennis ball. Um, a cup of mashed potatoes is about the size of your fist. This suggests mashed potatoes or broccoli. But anything about the size of your fist is a cup. So... To keep that, that's easy to remember. Um, a teaspoon, anything of the size of a teaspoon is about the size, excuse me, <coughs> size of your thumb. So that's easy to remember. And then an ounce of nuts or uh, small candies equals about a handful. Not a heaping handful, about the size of your palm. 
And you guys will get to take that home with you today. So you don't have to try to remember. You can put those on your refrigerator. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what I, what I do want to suggest is um, use this to go th throughout the day, to plan your meals throughout the day. Normally, when I teach, I'll tell them on Sundays that's the best day for me uh, because it's right before I go to work, starts the new work week. Um, you need a meal plan, what you're going to have throughout the week. You know, cook a whole bunch, put it in the refrigerator. Um, because when you tend not to do that, you tend to make bad choices when you don't take something with you. If you forget your lunch one day or something like that, you're going to end up going to the vending machine, things like that. And then that's where you can get in trouble and get off track. So try to meal plan uh, whatever day's best for you. If, you. if your week doesn't start till Tuesday, then, then meal prep on Monday. If it doesn't start till Friday, then meal prep on Thursday, okay? But you can keep both of these sheets on your refrigerator and it'll help you... It'll remind you, and then it'll help you with what you need to, to meal prep with, okay? Uh, make grocery lists before you go to the grocery store and stick to that list. That way you're not tempted to get things that you shouldn't eat, okay? Now, day, uh, result day. Um, make sure you guys follow all of the instructions that we have that I've given you all the way up until we meet again. And so today is result day. Um, today we will check your blood sugars. And you guys, at that time, I would make you demonstrate how to, how to check blood sugar. Make sure you know how to work the machine. Uh, we'll recheck weights and vital signs. And then we'll look at your previous results and determine whether they've gotten better or not. Um, so we've given the test. Um, and now I'm going to present the scores. Uh, just so you guys are aware of how well you did. Uh, the pre-test scores had an average of 44%, and the post-test scores had an average of 92%. So that went way up, almost 50%. Um, blood pressure is decreased by 15 millimeters of mercury, so that's just 15 numbers in, on top uh, on average, in 33% compared to day one, so that's much better. Uh, body mass index... Uh, decreased by 16%, so some of you guys have lost weight. Uh, fasting blood sugars compared to day one to uh, result day today decreased by 12 milligrams per deciliter and 55% of you guys, so over half of you guys decreased your blood sugars. Self-evaluations, um, I won't talk about that. All right, and that's it. Thank you guys for... Um, coming and participating and allow me to do this assignment um i will if you guys need anything uh you've got my cell phone number i gave that to you on day one um you feel free to call ask me anything and uh thank you for participating